Nancy Pelosi was a great speaker. She is a great leader, but her time has come and gone. After losing a thousand seats since 2010, it appeared like all hope was lost for the Democratic Party. But after this latest Ossoff loss, some Democrats are waking up and becoming vocal about what needs to be done. More specifically, they want to get Nancy Pelosi out of the leadership. So I'm going to show you a couple clips from Morning Joe this morning, where there are Democrats on openly talking about how we need a new message. And to start with, we need to get Nancy Pelosi out. So first up, I'm going to show you a clip from Democratic Congresswoman Kathleen Rice of New York. Well, uh, I've been very clear that we need leadership change. Uh, there's no question about it. You know, um, I sat in a meeting the other day and I listened to uh, a rationale as to how we should be happy as a caucus because we didn't lose as badly uh, this past two days ago mm -hmm. uh, as we did a year ago. And, but we're still losing. And uh, that's my concern. We need to uh, find a different path. We need to have a vision. Where do we want to go? And we need to have a message, which is how are we going to get there? And we just in the last couple of months, we've seen uh, Democratic losses in five different special elections. So when are we going to wake up? And I, look, I'm not going to pretend that this is an easy conversation to have. It's not easy speaking truth to power. Nancy Pelosi was a great speaker. She is a great leader. But her time has come and gone. Yes, she's a great fundraiser. But if the money that we are raising with her through her leadership is not helping us win elections, then we have to have this difficult conversation now. So there are a few good points there from Kathleen Rice that I want to hit on. So she mentioned how the Democratic Party needs to find a different path, a new vision. And one of the ways to really kickstart that is to have new leadership. Because even if you try and adopt a new vision, if your existing leader is still there and not exactly on board, and we know Nancy Pelosi is not on board with policies like single payer, then it's hard to sell that new vision. So getting Nancy Pelosi out is essential to having a new vision that people can actually buy that you that they believe that you're actually representing. One of the other great points that Rice made is that Nancy Pelosi is a good fundraiser, and that's true. She does raise a lot of money for races, but as Rice said, if you're not winning those races, then it doesn't mean anything. So if you look up articles about, about Democrats defending Nancy Pelosi, almost always you're going to see them mention the fact that Nancy Pelosi is good at raising money. Because that's all Nancy Pelosi is good at doing. And people have now caught on to the fact that, where is this money coming from? Large corporations... Lobbyists, special interests, Wall Street. Why do you want that sort of money being injected into the Democratic Party and polluting a message that should be about working people, that should be about the middle class and the poor? You can't have a platform that's about the middle class and the poor if you're taking all this big money in that is clearly going to influence the people that are winning the elections if they win the election. So even if they're winning elections... You're winning elections with this big money. And that's who these people that are taking these seats are actually representing. They're not representing the little guy. I also like that Rice mentioned that it's not easy speaking truth to power. And she's being honest there because it's not easy to speak truth to power. But she knows that this is the only way that the Democratic Party is going to get past all of these losses and actually become a party that starts winning again is if they replace the leadership. So I hope this just comes off as a bit of a message to other members of the Democratic Party that, you know what, it's not easy to do what I'm doing, but it's the right thing to do. Now, the second video I want to get to is from Democratic Congressman Tim Ryan of Ohio, and he actually ran against Pelosi for the leadership last year. And here's what he had to say on Morning Joe. You've been a no. critic of Pelosi. I mean, you're a fan, but you've criticized her as the top at, at being at the top of the ticket. Can the Democrats win back the House with Nancy Pelosi scheduled to be Speaker? Yes or no? I think it'll be very hard, Sam. I, I, I just, you know, we can do it because it's Donald Trump. But I mean, you, you think, what if it was John Kasich? What if it was Marco Rubio? I mean, we would be in real trouble right now as a party. And we can't forget that fact. But I mm -hmm. think it's going to be more challenging, certainly. Uh, you see these commercials that tie these candidates to Leader Pelosi uh, week in and week out in the last several months. 
that still moves the needle, you know? And so we're asking candidates in these deep red districts to battle the Republican Party. We've got a, a lot of energy in our base, which is, is very exciting for a lot of us to see that on the ground. But you got to beat the Republican and you got to carry this very toxic Democratic brand on your back, too. That's a tough thing to ask a, a candidate running for Congress. And, yeah. and so we've got to figure that out. So Tim Ryan makes some good points there. It's hard for Democrats to win back seats when these commercials are tying them to Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi represents the toxic national brand of the Democratic Party. Nancy Pelosi represents the these big money donors, the insiders. That's who people that's what people think of when they think of Nancy Pelosi, and that's why it discourages people from either voting Democrat or encourages them to vote against a Democrat. So taking her out of leadership removes that that argument where you can tie the candidate, the Democratic candidate, to Nancy Pelosi. If she's gone, you can't do that anymore. Now, I do disagree with Ryan on one point. He seems to think that if it was President Kasich or President Rubio, then there would be, it would be a lot harder for Democrats to win back seats. I actually think that's wrong, and I'll tell you why. Because what Donald Trump did was invigorate these people who hadn't really voted for a while. People that were disillusioned with the two-party system and to them, Trump represented this outsider. So people are supporting Trump who wouldn't normally be a Republican or a Democrat. They're largely independent, or many of them are independents, and they're supporting him because they still view him as this outsider. Now, if you have Kasich or Rubio in there, there's not as much attachment to those candidates because in many ways, they're just very replaceable. So if you have someone who's, who is Trump and who is an actual outsider, you're going to have people who are much more diehard fans of his than somebody like Rubio or Kasich. But I do agree with him in the sense that Trump has managed to invigorate this anger on the left that we wouldn't see if it was, or wouldn't see as much if it was Rubio or Kasich as president. So overall, it's good to see Democrats at least being more vocal about this now. And I do find it really interesting that MSNBC had on both of these, these uh, representatives in the same morning. Now, th there's this push that we don't, we aren't normally privy to or, or really recognize as happening, where the media push a certain narrative. So the media right now is pushing this narrative that it's time for Nancy Pelosi to get out. And a lot of the time, it takes that, that step to happen for there to be actual action. So it's, it's, not, it's not even so much about the Democrats wanting to get her out, which obviously in the end, that's what actually matters. But the real change happens when the mainstream media gets behind that same narrative. So now that there are Democrats behind this and the media is behind this, I really believe Nancy Pelosi is going to be out as leader. But how long that takes, it's anybody's guess. Hey, I want to give a big Patreon shout out to Sub from Jersey. He helps support this show. If you like this channel, you like these videos, consider throwing me a few bucks a month. It'll help me to produce more of this content, and you'll also get some free content in return. So there's a link below the video and somewhere on the page right about now.